<laughs> so hello and welcome to the second Better Bleeps video. In this video we're going to explore using Boolean logic to create melodies and harmonies. So let's check out what's to come. So in this video I have two voices panned hard left and right. It's all just triangle waves. These are going through low pass gates and that's the signals that are feeding into Anna from Mystic Circuits. These two random sample and holds already play two hard panned voices. But merging them into this Boolean logic and using the step or max function on Anna, we use the logic to create a harmony and a bass musical accompanying layer for our music. And you could just as easily use MIDI, keyboard playing, sequenced things, looping patterns. I've just chose to use random here. Everything's been quantized. So we'll explore using logic for this bass harmony layer to accompany these two random melodies. If you're on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash divkid, there's some extra patch notes and images for you over there. Of course, like and comment whether you want to support me on Patreon or not. And this Better Bleep series is here for us all to learn and share. Synthesis, it might be production tips, music theory. It's kind of there for just a general tips and tricks series. If there's anything you'd like me to explore or a specific tip you have that you'd like me to try out, leave it in the comments. We can maybe do a video together or I can present your idea in the future. I'm certainly open to feedback and ideas. So without further ado, let's get into the patch. So in this video, I'm going to quickly run through using logic to create harmonies and melodies based on existing parts. So here's three sequences running, two, which are the top two traces on data, going into Anna from Mystic Circuits. That's performing a logic function, giving me this green output on data that's all going into a quantizer, giving me three voices. Let's just listen for a second first. All the voices have been struck by the same 16th note clock in independent low pass gates and then mixed together. Removing the reverb and taking out the mono mid voice which is the one that Anna, the logic, is creating. Here are my two input melodies. Panned hard left and right. The reverb's really nice in stereo too, so make sure you've got headphones on or some decent speakers in stereo where you can hear this hard left and right pan sound. Now adding in the mid voice, which is the one created by Anna, the logic. This is performing a max function. It's reading the maximum voltage from the two inputs. And then I'm taking that maximum voltage out, quantizing it to the same key alongside the two inputs. It's just the notes. C, E flat, F, G and B flat. Although it's not tuned to that, I simply tuned all my oscillators to the same root note. Not using a tuner, just by ear. I found a note on one I liked, tuned them all in unison to the same thing. And then when I quantize all these lines on top of each other, it creates musical in-key harmonies. Playing around with the levels into the logic, we're going to get a different response. So listen to that lower bass line, I'll turn it up slightly. You can hear it's a little fizzier. By blending these two inputs that are split and quantized to those hard left and right voices, blending them and processing them through Anna by Mystic Circuits, which is my logic module, I'm taking the step output here. The max worked well too. Using this logic, quantizing that output, giving me three voices. Let's get that lush reverb back in, bathing some melodic synth ambience. That's it. Cheers for watching. Goodbye for now. <laughs> 